everyone, and welcome back to the Adventure News Network. Um, today's broadcast is about Supermarket Simulator because we have a brand new update for Supermarket Simulator. And actually, what's really funny about that is that uh, I literally, last Monday, we play Supermarket Simulator on stream on Mondays. And I literally, last Monday, someone was asking me, like, are you going to 100% this game? And I was like, yeah, you know, like, I'm, I'm going to play it as long as I still have content available for it. And I know that they're going to keep making updates. And I was like, I would really like it if they added aisle signs. Well, literally like three hours after I stopped streaming that night, they did an update. Um, so it was actually really funny. Like I was literally like, are you actually like, I like had to get up to go to the bathroom in the middle of the night and it was four in the morning and they, I had a discord notification and they had done an update. So we have an update tonight. So we'll get, we'll go through just what's covered in it really quickly. So um, they added full controller support. I know that there's a lot of people that will really like that. I'm a PC gamer myself, so I don't usually use a controller, but I'm sure that there will be plenty of people that will enjoy that. We have controller support. We have um, some settings for the restockers, which I actually think is going to be super convenient. So um, we have this setting where you can actually stop them from working. So if you want them to like stop stalking for whatever reason but like you don't want to fire them you can just disable them which i actually think is amazing you can also uh, prevent them from using unlabeled racks which that's going to be huge for me because I get really mad when they like put stuff as like overflow on other racks or like whenever I order a whole thing of new products and I don't have them on the shelves yet and they go in and just throw them on random shelves and totally mess up my labeling system drives me crazy. So that'd be super handy. They said that they're going to do more settings to come. So I'm hoping what they mean for that is for the cashiers. Uh, right now, I think you can't put a cashier on vacation basically you have to fire them if you want to have that register back like free and open so i think they may do that for the cashiers in the future as well which would be really exciting i very much appreciate that but the big thing with this update is self checkouts this is exciting and also terrifying because i um I don't know where to put these in my store. We don't have room. We're gonna have to rework the entire dang store just to um, be able to have room for them, which just kind of blows my mind. <laughs> so we're gonna have to do that tonight. That's something that we'll be working on, but self checkouts, I'm sure that will be, you know, I was wondering when the store eventually gets super busy, like as you like to play later and later into the game, I was wondering what would happen if your cashiers eventually like wouldn't be able to keep up with demand. And I'm assuming this is the answer to basically kind of have that. I don't know if there's a cap on the number of these. Um, I think they're a furniture item that you can buy, but I don't know if there's like a, a cap on it or not. So I'll have to like play that tonight and figure that out. That's a question that I have. But we have self checkouts now, which is super exciting. I don't know about you guys. I'm a big self checkout person when I go grocery shopping. I do not like to have to speak to a cashier. I am a self checkout only if I can help it kind of person. I've always kind of been that way. So um, we have more customization. We have um, new store entrances. So that's a thing I'm going to have to decide tonight that I'm terrified of is which store entrance design do we want? Um, we also have category signs which is super exciting it's fully customizable you can type into them drinks meat so freaking cool so excited about that that's really really cool to be able to like hang them from the ceiling and stuff so that's going to be really fun to add also a music player and speakers i don't know if this is that you pipe your own music in or if like it has in-game music i usually just play like my own music on my stream to add stuff because the game didn't have music before but if they do have in-game music i guess we're gonna find out so um there's more just some uh, localization fixes and bug fixes and stuff oh lord what's the what was in the small print we're aware of the bugs especially related to the restocker we'll focus on bug fitch patches for a while thank you for being so patient so yeah they churned out another update pretty freaking fast yeah, so I'm really excited. So we're going to play that tonight and I'm, I'm really looking forward to it. So um, anyway, that's all for today's broadcast. If you would like to, to react to these with us live, um, please feel free to check out twitch.tv slash Amy's adventures or Amy's underscore adventures, or just be on this YouTube channel on any of the times that I'm live. Um, as of right now, I am live uh, Monday, Wednesday, Friday at 7 p.m. Eastern time uh, for a couple of hours usually. Uh, so, but check the about pages of any of these platforms and uh, I will have the updated stream schedule there. So yeah, that'll be about it. Thank you so much. We have a double news episode in real time this week because we have a paleo update too, but you guys will be seeing the paleo update news next week. Um, so yeah, that's about it. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a lovely rest of your day and I will see you guys next time. Bye guys.